What's up everybody? How are you doing? It's David, a photographer from Barcelona, Spain. And today I bring you an editing tutorial on Lightroom Mobile to go from this to this. I will be using Lightroom Mobile, but you can do the same with Lightroom Classic or CC. The editing process is the same. And basically I'm gonna show you how to get to this dark moody style and also how to make the light look like it's on. Only using Lightroom, no Photoshop or anything else. You have the raw file also in the description if you want to download it and practice and follow along with the tutorial. Now if you are not interested in editing, learning how to edit or it's too difficult for you, I also made a preset and put it in a pack of presets that you can check down below. I put this one and 14 more in a pack of presets and if you're interested in that part in the presets stay until the end because I'm going to explain a couple of things about the presets or you can just skip the editing process and just go. I will leave a timestamp on the description so you can just skip to the preset section but for now let's start editing so here we go. All right the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open Lightroom. I already have my photo here. This is the one that we are going to be working on. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to profile Adobe color and I'm going to change it to neutral to make it even more flat. If you haven't seen my camera settings you can go to the other video that I have that I posted here about the camera settings because I always try to get my picture flat and a little bit dark and sometimes not always but sometimes I like to work on a even flatter profile so I use the Adobe neutral and everything is very flat no contrast at all so I have a very blank starting point so from here I'm gonna go to light first and I'm gonna start tweaking things the first thing I'm gonna do is I see that the exposure is fine but I'm gonna remove even a little bit more contrast let's keep it at minus 14. I'm gonna take some highlights out just to see if we can recover some of the sky. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna push the shadows up a little bit. Yes, yeah, yes, like this. And the blacks, because everything, I have no blacks right now. I'm gonna push them down. Yes, something like this. Yeah, that's look okay. Okay, so we were here, now we are here. It looks very bad but we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna do a little curve as well. I'm gonna put one point in the middle here and then one point here and one point here. I'm gonna push this one down to make the blacks darker and this one I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna erase the blacks a little bit yeah, probably probably something like this. I'm gonna go to the blues point in the middle. I'm gonna give it some blues to the shadows. That looks nice. And now for the light, it still looks bad, like no contrast at all. So what I'm gonna do before I do colors is I'm gonna do the local adjustments, some of the local adjustments, because when you are changing the exposure, you will change also the tones and the colors a little bit, the saturation. So I'm gonna do the local adjustments, especially one of them, which is the radial filter. And this is the key of my editing. So I always want to highlight the main subject and the rest I'm gonna make it really dark. So I'm gonna make a radial filter of this size, more or less. If I do like this, if I reduce now the exposure, is affecting to the area where I have the radial filter and I want to invert it. I click here on this black and white icon on the left. And now it's affecting all the image except for the area that I have within the radial filter. And I'm gonna give it very dramatic change here, like 1.5, like 1.5 stops. That looks fine. I'm gonna probably feather it more just to make the change less noticeable. This looks nice. Done. I'm gonna add also the, the gradual filters. I'm gonna have one here, like this. I'm gonna give it like minus. Yeah, like this. No, it's too much. Probably like this. And I'm gonna do one more on the other side, not getting the light. And probably also something like this. Looks nice. Okay. So as you can see, these really change the whole feeling and mood of the photo. We were here. And now we are here. Very dramatic change. Now 
All the attention is on the person walking. The streets are dark and nice and moody. All right, so we're gonna keep the exposure like this and now it's time to go to the color. I'm gonna give it a little bit of warmth. Yeah, just like this. The tint is fine. It doesn't look green or magenta, it looks perfect. Now I feel like it's too muted, so I'm gonna give it just a little bit of vibrance. And that's it for the main color. Let's go to the local adjustments with the color, the color mix. I'm gonna touch a little bit here. The reds, the reds I'm gonna just take the saturation down a little bit, the luminance as well. Oranges, which is the only one that we really have here. I'm gonna take it a little bit to the reds. Saturation is fine and I'm gonna give it a little bit of luminance just for the upper part of the building. Yellows, I don't want really yellow, so I'm gonna push a little bit to the oranges, a little bit of luminance as well. Greens, I don't want greens, and if I have some, I prefer them to be yellow, also a little bit darker. Then we go to the aqua and the aqua, I want them to be like more bluish. I'm gonna play with the luminance, but I don't really have any. And then the blues, I'm gonna keep the tone as it is. I don't want a teal tone here or a purple tone. I just, I keep it as it is at zero. But I'm gonna take some saturation away because I feel like it's too blue, especially the streets. And I'm gonna keep it like this, maybe make it even darker. Yeah, something like this. So the street is not that strong. And that's it for the color mix. I'm gonna go to color grading. And now in the shadows, I'm gonna go to very little, probably at about 10, 11. I'm gonna give a cool tone to around 200, 216, that looks fine. And then mid tones, I'm not gonna touch. And highlights, I'm gonna give it a warm tone probably a little bit stronger, like 18. And I'm gonna go to a more greenish, kind of something like this. That looks nice. And that's for the tones, for the color grading. And in effects, I'm gonna add some texture and I'm gonna remove some clarity. I know people love to give clarity, I remove it. It gives some more dreamy look, a more softer look. So I like to remove some clarity. I mean, as you can see, I don't go crazy with the sliders. I just go little, very little things, but all together, they make a huge change. And then I'm gonna just remove some noise. I normally go between 15 and 20. I mean, I don't want to remove detail. Yeah, that looks nice and clean. And that's it. I mean, okay, I'm gonna go to geometry. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna make the picture straight or try to make it straight. I draw one line here and another line in here. Okay, that looks much nicer now. And that's it. Now, to make it a little bit more dramatic, you can go to local adjustments and you can add a brush. Let's make it soft and let's make it small. And I'm gonna paint around here a little bit, the background, this area, even the sky as well. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna remove the woman. I don't want the woman to be affected by it. And then what I'm gonna do is I want to make like kind of a fog here. So for that, I just go to clarity and get it down and especially the haze, something like this. Yeah, let me go back to the normal size. Probably this is too much because of the exposure. I'm gonna add Yes, this kind of exposure and that looks nice. It gives a little bit of fog. Don't go crazy on this because then it's gonna look very, very fake. Like this looks okay. And now there is one thing that a lot of people ask me and is how about the lights? You can turn the lights on with Lightroom. You zoom in a lot, go to a brush, make the brush small and make 
it like this and you start to paint one brush then you give exposure of around 2.5 is fine you push the shadows up a little bit you push the whites a little bit then you go to color you give nice warm temperature and tint also some saturation probably I will give a little bit more highlights something like this okay right so let's go a little bit more Maybe let's paint the whole thing okay, and that's how you turn the light on with your brush yeah, yes nice light then that could be it basically that's it you can do the same process on every light because only one it looks weird and then I would just go to Photoshop or Affinity Photo and remove the guy in the background. But that's it. We went from this picture to this dramatic, moody photo. And we're done. All right, so that's my process. And as you can see, it's all about the local adjustments and also really important what you start with, how you shoot, and also the profile you use on Lightroom. So you can try with Adobe Color, Adobe Neutral, some other profiles as a starting point. When I'm shooting a photo, I already have in mind the final result, the editing, everything. And I set my camera accordingly. So that's why I shoot a little bit dark, a little bit soft, because I already know what I'm gonna do on the editing. And I think that's key for a good photo. So always keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna talk about the presets little bit because I show you how to edit it yourself if you don't want to edit it or you just want the preset or you want to support the channel or you just have a collection of presets I prepare 15 presets that I use on my street photography and I put them all in a pack of 15 presets at a very cheap price it's kind of symbolic price just because it took me time to record the presets put them in the website put them together and I made them for Lightroom Mobile and Lightroom Classic so you can use mobile and classic they also help you save time and a great way also to learn new things that you didn't know before how things change so I recommend using presets but as a learning tool so that's it from my side thank you very much for watching if you like this kind of video tutorial about editing and if you see any picture that I took and you want to know how I edit that specific photo you can tell me in the comments and I can make more videos like this but for now I'll leave you to the next one so see you